Hi everyone, welcome to chapter six on the electromagnetic radiation and electronic structure of the atom. Actually, this week we'll only be doing the electromagnetic radiation portion. So as a, just a couple of notes here, visible light's a form of electromagnetic radiation. That's just my abbreviation for electromagnetic radiation. And it's generated by the excitation of electrons. And you experience this in fireworks, neon lights, the aurora borealis. Uh, these are all examples of the generation of light and its transmission through space. So we talk about the dual nature of light, the wave nature and the particle nature. So first we'll discuss the wave nature. So light in all forms of electromagnetic radiation uh, travel through space as a wave. And the forms of electromagnetic radiation are gamma rays, X-rays, ultraviolet rays, visible light, infrared radiation, microwaves, and radio waves. And so the model to describe this electromagnetic radiation as a wave is the sine wave, which has amplitude, wavelength, and it also has a frequency. So the frequency would be the number of wave cycles that pass a point in a given unit of time. And the unit for uh, frequency is Hertz, HZ, which can be um, described as either HZ, one over seconds, or seconds to the negative one. That should be to the negative one. So the quantitative relationship for this sine wave and the wave nature of light is given by this equation. C equals frequency times wavelength. Sometimes, in, and it's in your textbook in this way, it um, looks like this. This funny looking V is called nu, and that's the variable that's often used. I tend to use F for frequency. It just makes it a little bit more clear and obvious as to what you're measuring. So those two variables can be used interchangeably. So if I wanted to calculate wavelength in nanometers, since light waves are uh, really very, very short in terms of wavelength, they're usually given in the unit of Nm nanometers. So C is the speed of light, and that's a constant, 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. A frequency for, let's say, a microwave, which is a form of low energy uh, electromagnetic radiation. And then let's say we wanted to calculate the wave length for that. So if we go through the calculations, it's just a simple plug in. And so when you do your calculation here, you would end up with a unit of meters and you would just want to be careful that if the question were to ask for uh, the unit of nanometers, then you'd want to convert meters to nanometers. And the, um, the conversion factor is one meter is equivalent to one times 10 to the ninth nanometers. <clears throat> so just so you can have that little calculation on the side there for you. Um, and then, so what we know is that visible light is a very small portion of the electromagnetic radiation. It's somewhere between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. And so in order for a substance <clears throat> to be colored, it must absorb radiation in this um, region. And if it absorbs a certain amount of radiation in that region, it would reflect the rest. And um, that's the color that you would actually see. And then those are a few examples of what type of radiation ozone absorbs 
and what carbon dioxide absorbs and you know carbon dioxide absorbs infrared radiation that's given off by the earth's surface preventing it from escaping and contributing to global warming um, so if we look at you know what the um you know just kind of a qualitative relationship between the different forms of electromagnetic radiation so we would see down here the gamma radiation which is very high energy high frequency and short wavelengths and then down the other end where you have your lowest energy and your low frequency radiation and long wavelengths so that's a good uh, relationship to keep in mind that when you have very short little wavelengths that are very close together you're going to have very high frequency and high frequency is synonymous with high energy and so then up this end where you have very long wavelengths we're going to measure our wavelengths from peak to peak you're going to have um, very low frequency and very low energy as well. I'm going to stop there.